So these photographs of people uh, walking onto a luxury liner, you see them boarding the boat, ships sailing, they're on deck taking photographs. Uh, they didn't call them selfies then, they just called them photographs. So you're taking photographs and smiling and laughing and chilling and posing with their families and with their friends and on their own and you can see clearly they're having a time of it. This guy is roller skating on deck. You see a man holding a glass of wine, casually sipping. You see other women lying in lounge chairs. Dining halls look very attractive, first class facilities. Now, all these images I'm showing you are of the SS St. Louis. Now, I don't know if you know about this ship, but a little history lesson. So on the very eve of World War II, when it was already clear what Hitler had in mind for European Jewry, it was still possible for at least some German Jews to escape. And so you have this boat leaving, disembarking from Hamburg, and carrying on it almost a thousand Jewish people trying to escape the Holocaust to come. And they got to North America, they crossed the Atlantic, and no country would have them. This country rejected them outright. The United States refused to accept anyone. The Caribbean countries wouldn't have it. And so, because they wouldn't take any of these Jewish refugees, the boat was forced to turn back and return to Europe, and almost all the people on board ended up perishing in the concentration camps. Now, why am I telling you this story? Yes, this man is roller skating on board. Yes, these people are sipping wine and having a good time and posing and they're wearing nice clothes and they're embracing and they're smiling. But there's not one person in this room who would claim that they're not refugees. They ran away from Nazi Germany and they were forced to return to Nazi Germany, and they died in Nazi Germany. They're refugees in any sense of the word, and I can uh, hardly imagine anyone claiming otherwise. And yet, these people are refugees, but Israel claims that these people aren't. According to the Israeli government, these people, stuck like sardines, trying to escape any way they can, dying by the thousands, drowning in the Mediterranean, running in every direction, filling up refugee camps all over the African continent and in Europe, Africa, in other parts of the, of the African continent and further on in Europe and North America and Australia. But according to Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli government, none of them are refugees. They are all just trying to make a quick buck. And that's why they've come to Israel. Yeah. Risking their lives, giving their lives, 